we're here at more space it is a outside sort of street foodie market thing it's just down the road from Maya Mall. we have a little challenge tonight so i'm going to try and get dinner and all i want to eat for 100 baht which is about three us dollars and about four dollars 30 in australian let's have a look around first we've got to scope out what we like it looks really nice here everything's like white and lit up with like festoon lights fairy lights it looks really nice i don't know why we haven't come here yet before to be honest but let's see what we can get for 100 baht and let's have a look around and see what kind of things we like let's go So there's this like Coke thing that Michael loves. They like bang the bottom of the bottle and it goes like an iced Coke and he loves it. I don't like soft drink, but let's have a look. He's gonna get one. He always gets one if there's one here at a market. They just comes out like a frozen yeah. Coke. It's so cool. So just like all markets, there's also like clothes and tops and trousers and all of that around the outside also so there's not just food there's always trinkets and little wallets handmade things that you can buy handmade clothing and everything so that's all here as well as usual so there's this really cool section where there's also like restaurants if i wasn't doing a 100 baht challenge <laughs> you could also eat there i think it's really cool that when you come to the market you eat from like the stalls no so let's try and looking for some stalls okay so straight off the bat there's definitely more like actual setup shops or restaurants or um thing here than um the street food we're just going to look around and then sort of see what we can do so there's this part on the very far side that has like trucks and i think i'm going to start here because there's one here that has sticks of meat for like 10 baht each but let's have a look and grab some food and go from there all right well i thank you now these were what we got from the food truck over there i've got a barbecue beef and a barbecue chicken So honestly the sauce is really really nice it's just spicy and I forgot to ask for no spice or which ones weren't spicy so that's my fault it's more of a like sweet spicy in it okay no still spicy it's yummy <laughs> it's actually it tastes really good like it does taste good I just the spice kind of hurts a little now really would it be a vlog of mine if I didn't get coffee <laughs> see a coffee car let's get something is this it nope yes nope Hi, Swadika. You have uh, Milo? Milo? Yeah, ice Milo? How much is that? <laughs> Can I grab one? Yes, please. Thank you. Thanks so much. They didn't have coffee, but they have ice Milo. So I'm getting an ice Milo. It costs 25 baht. Okay. Some Milo ice to help me with the spice. I really like it. It's really yum. It's just like really... The teeth, <laughs> <laughs> the teeth are, are brown and saucy, me, but... Mm, good mother ice. Mm. Right, chicken. Mmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, spicy. <laughs> I think I prefer the beef, which is weird because I normally always choose chicken for everything. I've just got to find a main dinner and a dessert. So <laughs> let's have a look around. Yeah. So I went past an omelet place and it's 35 baht, so I think I'm gonna grab one of them. Sorry, guys. Oh. What do you want to put in the cup? Um, good, good question. Um, in the cup, in the egg. Oh, you have egg. Oh, yeah. egg? Cup, cup. Cup? Oh, cup? Cup? Oh, this one here. Oh! Oh, put it in there. Yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah. a lot of greens. Corns and tomato and carrot and onion. No, 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 above it. I don't know what that is. I did it. You want rice? Is it still 35 baht? Yes, I have rice. Yes. Cup, one cup. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it smells good. So let's try this one. It looks, it smells really good. I think I didn't put enough meat on though. They've got, <laughs> they've got heaps of meat on theirs. So we have our 35 baht omelette buffet 
with rice. We didn't really understand what was happening, <laughs> but the lady said pick the cup with the egg and then you just put in the toppings that you want. But we weren't really, we were like, what? Cup with an egg? What? <laughs> we didn't know what was going on. So we finally caught on and I got the cup, put in all my stuff with the egg, and then she just like cooks it for you basically. It was still 35 baht with rice, made sure. My mouth is watering, smelling it. It smells so good. Mmm. Yum. Mm. I don't know what it is about Thai omelets, but they're so good. Is it the way they cook them? Can someone tell me in the comments below what makes Thai omelets taste like this? Is it the oil? Is it like, what is it? Now, I'm not sure what meats I grabbed. I have absolutely no idea what they were. <laughs> and there's no signs, but that's okay. It tastes good. We have 20 baht left to get dessert. Please, Hokkaido milk. No, I think I want the toast, but we always get toast. What do I want? Everyone help me. They look tasty. They're like little pancakey, flat, fried, like yeah. things with filling. I don't think I'm gonna have those. You're gonna get one? That looks like Milo and thingy to me. That's yeah. 20 baht, which is what I have. Yeah. I'm gonna do a quick translation. Buttermilk overchain. But we always get toast. Should we get something different? No, I get this. Get this? Oh, mini! Oh! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's probably this one. Which one's that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one. One, please. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's got shredded pork on it. I didn't know which one it was in Thai, was, <laughs> so he had to help me. <laughs> so it was 20 baht, so I've completely used my 100 baht, which is really, really good. We're like literally right back on target, and I'm actually full. If I wasn't doing the challenge, I probably wouldn't get a dessert. I'm like really content with what I've eaten. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So we always kind of get toast. Like we've gone to Volcano a few times. We get the stuffed toast. Sometimes we order like grab and we get like the toast. There's actually a toast place in Niman that when we are walking home, sometimes we stop there and get like. We could do a video on desserts on Niman. Right? We could legit do a video of desserts on Niman Road. Comment down below if you want to see a dessert on Niman Road or like this video. Basically, just like toast. <laughs> with sweetened condensed milk and like Milo or whatever. So we're gonna try this. Yeah, I've had it before, just not obviously from this place. The Ovaltine tastes different to Milo. I like the Milo one better, but the milk and the toast is really nice. Like it's really like crisp. Oh. <laughs> mm. Because it's not Milo, it's Ovaltine. It tastes different. And I have to say I prefer the Milo, but the toast is really good. So that's it. I had an entree, dinner, a drink, and dessert for 100 baht, which is three, four dollars. Now we're just gonna go on this side where all the other stalls were. And they're a little bit more expensive on this side, so we actually might come back another night. And if you want to see a 200 baht challenge, you just need a little bit more money to go on this side than the other side. That's all, but everything's really nice over here. As you can see, there's so many other vendors. So that's it. But if you like this video, I have another one where I ate at the biggest walking street market in Thailand. So check that one out, that's up here. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to see my next ones. I'll see you then, I hope you enjoyed. I'm so full, it was so good. Have a good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye vlog. Bye vlog. <laughs>